You won't believe what happened during our shark snorkeling adventure at the Hilton Maldives. She got bitten by the shark. Don't worry, later in the video, I'll fill you in on the whole story and show you how to steer clear of those scary situations. But first, I've got some tips to help you save some bucks and make the most of your stay at this stunning resort. So let's dive right in. Tip number one, join the Hilton Honors Club. It's as free as the ocean breeze and the savings are as juicy as the tropical mango. Let's say you're eyeing an overwater villa in September, right? Low season, so the prices are low. If you're an Honor member, you snag that overwater villa for 936 a night. Not a member, that will cost you $1,018. That's $82 extra per night. For a five-day stay, you're shelling out an extra $410. That's a whole lot of sunscreen and souvenirs you could have bought. <laughs> so unless you're planning to find a treasure chest underwater, sign up and save those bucks for something cooler like shark snorkeling or an extra round of piña coladas. Tip number two, let's chat about the ins and outs of booking with Hilton Honor Points. So, you're eyeing a one-bedroom beach pool villa. That's gonna run you 110,000 points for a standard room reward. And the cool thing is if you book with points and stay a minimum of five nights, the fifth night is free. That's great! Which is pretty cool, right? So instead of shelling out 550,000 points, you only pay 440,000 points. But if you're dreaming of that overwater pool villa life, brace yourself. It's considered a premium room reward and that's a whole 300,000 points. Now here's a sweet little tip. Booking at the Hilton Maldives, you could totally score a standard room reward even if you're planning just two weeks out. That's a stark contrast to the Waldorf Astoria Maldives where snagging a standard room can feel like finding a diddle in a haystack. Number 3. The Diamond Member Amenities So, what about Diamond status members? If you're dreaming of a sweet upgrade to an overwater villa, let's manage expectations. That upgrade? Not happening. You'll receive an email that sounds like a cryptic riddle that says, Due to the very nature of our Maldives accommodations, only some resorts are able to offer upgraded accommodations. Translation? Overwater villa dreams? Not happening. But fear not fellow Diamond Status members, instead of an overwater villa upgrade, here are the amenities we can enjoy. Free breakfast for two people every day at Habitat. An in-villa VIP welcome bottle of wine and fruit basket. If you book a 60-minute massage, you get an additional 30 minutes at Amingiri Spa. And brace yourself for my favorite part. Every day from 3 to 4 p.m., it's sipping time at SIP. Picture a fine selection of beverages, mocktails, cocktails, and maybe even unicorn tears. Okay, just kidding. But seriously, don't miss this. Number 4. Speedboat transfer is not free. When you're booking your stay, remember this crucial bit. The premium speedboat transfer isn't part of the deal. Whether you're dropping cash or points, you gotta shell out extra for the speedboat ride. And yes, it's a bit of a pitch. $300 for adults and $150 for the kiddos between 6 and 11. All for a breezy 20-minute zip across the water. It seems a bit over the top, but hey, there's no getting around it. You need a ride to paradise. Number 5. Staying at the Sunset Overwater Villa Ah, uh, the Sunset Overwater Villas. A slice of paradise where the sun kisses the horizon and the time seems to slow down. Hilton offers two types of overwater villas, the east and the west side. But when you book, it's like playing a game of sunset roulette. You don't get to choose whether you'll face the sunrise or the sunset. I suggest that after securing your reservation, you take matters into your own hands. Contact Hilton's customer service or the resort directly. Politely declare, hey, I'm all about the sunsets. Hook me up with a west-facing villa, please. And there it is. If you get lucky, the magic happens. Your villa perch on the west side of the overwater jetty. Tip number six, reserve ahead, like ASAP. 
about three weeks before your vacation an email from the resort lands in your inbox asking for your flight details. Why? Well, they want to roll out the red carpet when you arrive at Mali International Airport. No, there's no red carpet by the way. Just kidding. Now, there's two crucial things to book in advance. Dining experiences and bucket list excursions. After sending your flight info, shoot another email to the resort. Let them know the date and time you want to dine at these two specialty restaurants, especially Origin. Believe me, if you book during check-in or during your stay, it'll be too late. During our stay, I thought I'd be all spontaneous and book our dining experiences on the spot. Rookie move, Origin was fully booked all week. Even our gym wasn't able to snag a table for us. Luckily, on the last night, four people backed out at Beach Shack, so we were able to snag a table. That fish, by the way, was so tasty. Scuba diving and nurse shark snorkeling are the VIP experiences. But here's the deal, this fill up so quickly, so don't procrastinate. Shoot that email to the resort pronto. Tip number seven, room service is the key. When you're in the Maldives, remember that it's a destination where costs can quickly add up, especially at luxurious resorts like Hilton Maldives. One of the top expenses is food. To save on food costs, here's my suggestion. Consider having breakfast around 9 a.m., just an hour before Habitat closes for breakfast at 10 a.m. Skip lunch or enjoy some refreshing drinks at the bar between breakfast and dinner. For your evening meal, you have two options. Indulge in a specialty restaurant, they're really worth it, or dine at Habitat. And here's a little secret. To save even more, order room service for dinner. While the room service menu may not be as extensive as Habitat's, the food is still delicious and there's something magical about enjoying it in the comfort of your own suite. Or in our case, we ate outside our beach villa facing the beautiful lagoon. Number eight, it could rain during your stay. All right, here's the scoop on Maldivian weather. So you're planning a trip and wondering about the rain, right? Well, if you're heading there between May and October, you will get some splashy days. But hey, even in the so-called dry season from December to April, Mother Nature doesn't give a 100% no rain guarantee. Take it from someone who've been there in December twice. It can still pour. It happens when we stayed at Pullman Maldives and also at Hilton Maldives. Rain can be a bummer, especially when you've seen all those YouTube videos of folks having their vacation vibes washed out. But let me tell you, a little rain doesn't have to drown your holiday spirit. It's all part of the Maldivian mojo. Instead of letting a few drops get you down, dive into it. There's Literally, person swimming. hit the beach for a swim. In the beach right the now. rain cools things She's down, the and the She's ocean's the still toasty. My wife and I actually love Enjoy. a rainy beach day. The it's all water, kind of perfect. So if you want to play it safe, aim really for the nice dry season. But if the skies do open up, just roll with it and make a splash. It's all about that island life, rain or shine. Tip number nine, the best snorkeling spots. If snorkeling is your main reason for visiting the Maldives, look behind Hilton Maldives. One of the resorts with the best house reef is at Hurawali Island Resort. Trust me, the moment you hit the arrival jetty, you'll be greeted by a sea of black triggerfish. And the house reef? It's like a rainbow of fish down there. Big, small, and all shades of awesome. However, Hilton Maldives has a decent house reef. At Hilton Maldives, you've got three spots to explore. If you're a rookie, stick close to Habitat restaurant, right in this area. But don't expect a fish fiesta, it's a bit sparse. For the adventurous souls, there are two other spots where the big boys hang out. But beware the currents don't play nice. Right in this area and right here, near the overwater villas. So I'm gonna go snorkeling here at the reef, which, I mean the house reef of Hilton, which is basically that area over Edge closer and you'll find a coral party with all the cool fish. I even spotted a seahorse. And the best part, clowning around a bunch of clownfish in a massive anemone. Adorable, right? 
it made my day. Just remember, the ocean is for sharing. So snorkel smart and stay safe. Before continuing, if you are enjoying this video, give it a like for the algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome travel videos. Thank you very much. Tip number 10, experiences to avoid and indulge. So here's a scoop on the Hilton Maldives excursions. Praise yourself because most activities and excursions come with a hefty price tag. Take for example jet ski ride. At Hilton Maldives, a 30-minute jet ski ride will set you back $190. But when we stayed at Pullman Maldives, they practically threw in the jet ski for free if you booked a five-night stay. Talk about a sweet deal, right? One excursion that is totally a waste of money is the Sunset Cruise. This 90-minute cruise cost $99 per person, and there were four of us, so it's almost $400. But here's the kicker. You hop on the traditional Dhoni boat, sip some water, and go back and forth around the island while waiting for the sun to do its thing. That's it. No island history, no fascinating tales, just a snooze fest. My youngest got so bored and slept during this excursion. Skip it. Instead, head to the west side beach near the main pool. There's a swing in the water and trust me, it's the best spot to soak in the sunset magic for free. Now, if you've got teens in tow, you have to let them try flyboarding. Imagine hovering above the water, feeling like a superhero. Both my kids were obsessed with it. They practically aced it. My oldest fell only once, while my youngest fell only three times. As for me, well, let's just say I had a few unplanned dips in the ocean when I tried flyboarding at Hurawali Island Resort. And my wife, oh, she laughed her heart out. So at Hilton, I decided to spare myself the embarrassment. Another experience you don't want to miss is Nurse Shark snorkeling. However, be very, very careful and pay attention because, as I mentioned at the start of this video, a gal in our group got nipped by a shark. It was pretty gnarly. But don't worry, I won't get into the gory details. Just stick to the crew's advice and you'll be fine. Now, let me walk you through that crazy day. So, get this, the dive center folks warned us the weather was rough, making the boat ride to the snorkel spot kinda dicey. They said the waves were massive and crossing the channel would be tough. They gave us the option to bail or brave it. And guess what? We chose adventure over caution. <laughs> we jumped on the speedboat and the captain hit the gas. But then, out of nowhere, it started pouring and the waves were getting wild. And bam, we lose power in one of the motors. There we were stuck in the middle of the ocean. The crew hustled to fix it. And after a tense 20 minutes, both engines stopped working. Talk about a day, huh? Eventually, the captain gets both engines back up and running, and we zoomed off to the snorkel site. We get the lowdown from the crew before diving in. Don't touch the sharks and stay away from the chum. I'm the first one in, and it's a total rush. Sharks are gliding by and it's a bit spooky when they sneak up on you. My youngest is having a time of his life, even petting the sharks, which we definitely weren't supposed to do. But hey, we couldn't help it. We were even laughing while touching the sharks. My oldest son was a bit cautious and my wife started out a bit nervous. But eventually she warmed up to it. That is until she got seasick and hit it back to the boat. But the real drama unfolded when we heard a scream. A shark had bitten the lady and was being dragged underwater. It was intense. The shark had mistaken a piece of fish on her arm for food. As she was dragged underwater, one of the crew members was quick to act, punching the shark to free her. It was a terrifying moment, especially since my son was just inches away from the action. He saw everything, and I'm just grateful he was safe. Let me show you again the moment she was dragged underwater. See the shark? And that's the lady. And that's my son. On the boat, I saw the wound. You can literally see the muscle fibers. After the incident, my wife, who's a nurse, sprang into action. She directly the crew and tended to the lady's injuries. We rushed her to the hospital. Though she'll have quite a scar to remember the ordeal. 
it's a stark reminder that while nurse sharks don't usually bite, it's best to keep your distance, especially during feeding time. If you haven't watched my complete walkthrough of the resort, click on the thumbnail. If you are staying at Hilton Maldives, that is the only video you need. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, which contains all the tips and recommendations for having a wonderful stay at Hilton Maldives. Until next time, fellow travelers, bye for now.